Yo, fine scouts and intrepid internet travelers, welcome to my channel. I'm Josh, your binge buffoon, if you will have me. Today, I'm going to behold the retro futurism that is Fallout and watch, I believe, the second, third, and fourth episodes of Amazon Prime's adaptation of Bethesda's beloved video game franchise. <laughs> My first thought after recording that intro was Bethesda wasn't the only company to work on Fallout. They weren't even the ones to create it, I believe. Yeah, I very much enjoyed the pilot episode of this series. I found it incredibly fun and very faithful to the games in regards to its world building and plot. I did have some issues with character, which I addressed in my review of episode one, but probably only because contemporary entertainment has conditioned me to be skeptical and sad however it's days later and the internet is screaming at the top of their lungs that they love this series which is probably going to make it super difficult to be objective moving forward but that's fine it's going to take me a lot longer to finish this series than everybody else because of my youtube shenanigans i'm referencing the time it takes to edit and stuff side note last week because that was last week i didn't even think about how last year christopher nolan made oppenheimer about the creation of nuclear weapons. And now his little brother, Jonathan, oh, Jonathan, made a show about atomic bombs. The fallout of Oppenheimer's actions. Maybe I didn't think about that because I blocked out the state of our world in relation to this show, the reality of it all. But all that's there, obviously. I'm sure you've thought of it already, about it. I had nightmares about it. Maybe in the loneliest hours of the evening, you regret the complacency that's become your societal safe haven. You wonder if you've built your entire identity on a foundation of lies because that's what you were told was the right thing. And then when the night becomes the darkest, those lies will be shown for what they are. And walls of ingenuity won't be enough to protect you from the indifference of fate. In that moment, you'll miraculously find yourself at the point whence you started, where everything you left behind and forgot, almost, is suddenly right in front of you. What the fuck was that? Um, in the last episode, Lucy left the comfort of her vault to go find, wait for it, a family member, go figure, and is now in the uncomfort of the wasteland. Hopefully she'll come across some bottle caps, which she can use to barter for her life. Without further ado, reaction channel. Let's ride the coattails of other people's art. Also, I was thinking about the other day how Christopher Nolan left Warner Brothers, right? And... Jonathan was working with Warner Brothers HBO on Westworld, and now he's with Amazon. So they both left. That's loyalty. That's brotherly love. Let's go. Honestly, it could just be a coincidence. They might not even talk to one another. Or it's just, I guess, representative of how Warner Brothers isn't what they used to be. But no powerhouse is. But that's how it goes. With Rome, everything. That which rises, falls. Very timely. Obviously, Warner Brothers is fine, though. Dune 2 was a bit amazing at the box office. Also, I'm perpetually constipated, so I'm probably going to have to pause and take a dump at some point during this. That's fine. We'll get through it. I'll get through it. You, you won't even know. It'll be seamless, the transition from discomfort to relief. It already happened. Kevin Hart again. DraftKings. Do you have an addictive personality and no money? Don't gamble. That's my counter to kevin hart's offer that was a serendipitous recurring joke just there if you watched the entirety of my first reaction the ink spots all right so this is the guy there everyone's looking for Oh, the is this the enclave? Oh yeah, they said he escaped. Okay, yeah. I love this song. I can't remember for the record, like the specifics of dogs and the experiments done on them in the games. By the way. Dude, 
This is extraordinarily faithful, though. Uh, you know. Sit. In the ancient heaven life. Good girl. Is that a good place for you? And so he's doing something special with this dog. Hiding it from everybody else. Yeah, a little more. Oh. What? <laughs> that dog's just like, you got this, you got this, you got this. He's like Tyler Durden in Fight Club with the soap. Is this from the dog's POV? That's an interesting choice. I like it. Okay, and now you're gonna have to leave. Go. Oh. Let's go. I just have this weird feeling all of a sudden that this is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna look a lot like this guy when I get older. Please remain calm. Dude, the tech is so... Chef's kiss. Is that a chef's kiss? I don't know. The kiss with that gesture. <laughs> yeah. That title card is dope. Oh, hey, Lucy. I'm next to no idea what was happening in that opening. Perplexing. He'll give us some exposition later when he meets up with... He'll run into this, these people. Lucy and everybody else. We uh started with Crosby in the last episode. I like that the music's playing because one of the most enjoyable things about playing Fallout 3 that I remember was just wandering around with the Galaxy News Radio playing and uh, 50s music serenading me as I destroyed things and people and creatures and mutants. Not a care in my world. Or this one. But then you look at the clock and seven hours have left you. You can't get them back. Gotta keep playing and hope that the world will wait for you. Nice fade out of the music. What a way to spend your last moments. Beating with the fam. Oh no, they... They chose this. The so vault -Tec, obviously, I feel like, vault -Tec is Google or Apple in this world? That bit of commentary in the last scene where that was vault -Tec responsible for the death of those people, essentially, but she, it, and vault also responsible for her life, you know, like Google. I mean, I get ad revenue from Google on this video, so I should be saying that shit. No way is she going to run into them already. Well, yeah, this is CX-404. Oh, wow, look at him go. And there he is. Oh, and dramatic music as he turns his head and glances at her. Okay, I really enjoy what Ella's doing with Lucy in this episode, because she should... She's nailing the, like... <gasps> What's going on? The world, it's here. We joked about cockroaches surviving a nuclear blast. Was it a, is that a joke? Well, they didn't merely survive. They thrived, yeah. They improved. Mm -hmm. Extended antennae in order to hunt in packs. Incisors to help ingest 
larger prey. Right, right. Such as yourself. The cockroach is a metaphor for what he's trying to do to people, I think. Sir, I'm looking for my father. You need to go home, miss. Vault dwellers are an endangered species. Do not think you would be willing to do what it takes to survive a people. Oh, but we've established that she is willing to do that. Dude, she made her husband ugly. If you insist on staying, then you will have to adapt. I hope she does. The question is, will you still want the same things when you have become a different animal altogether? Oh, wow. I like Ah, I like this. I like this a lot because I was so worried about what they were going to do with Lucy's character and this whole monologue by dude. Who whatever, are you? Yeah, who is he? Sort of uh, foreshadowed what they're going to do with her character. She is the cockroach. Okay, whatever. I have no idea who he is. Just a guy trying to make it in the world. So, uh... My lord, Titus! Okay. I see, you went with the tempered lining? Oh, God. On the T-60, does that, that help with mobility? He doesn't want to be your friend. Also, I just realized that's his cup. It was a very cl clever way of putting Maximus in his place. Trying to search a town called Philly. We're still miles from... Especially this guy, Lord Titus, is four foot five. Okay. Just wears him like a fanny pack. There you go. Oh, it's Michael Rappaport? I just saw that on the thing. That's gonna be a ridiculous reveal. I didn't even... Aw, oh, man, that's kind of lame when... Amazon does that, especially when it's a masked or suited character and it shows you who's in the scene, the cast, you know? You're much less threatening in the daylight, my dude. Cram. Lucy's gonna show up, she probably, oh, it's a hand. Gross. Oh, mutant. Oh, we're all in the same forest? Yeah, the cram would indicate that. Cram spam. Nice. They were here? A man? And a dog? Oh, you got... Yeah, the target. They found him really quick, honestly. Go see if the target's in there. But, but, my, my lord, I, I don't have armor. You are in the suit through acts of bravery. This is an act of bravery. You're just a human sacrifice. Collateral damage. Cannon fodder. What's the problem, dipshit? Now something's gonna come up behind them. Hurry up. Uh... Oh, wow. It's just a mutated bear. Oh, oh shit. Irradiated bear. Whoa. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Titus is a is a wuss. <laughs> he was just all show Titus. <laughs> I kind of figured that. Help! Help me! Sorry, I shouldn't be smiling. Shoot it! Are you afraid or do you not like him? Oh, good job, dude. How many fucks were said in that scene? A lot. Uh, The way they did this was funny. Is we found out he was a Fuck. yeah. Where were you? We found out he was a wimp huh? and kind of a less intimidating before we got the face reveal. Yeah. This wasteland fucking sucks. 
You know what's funny? As I said this in the last episode, I said, just don't take their, their helmets off. The knights in the power armor, because it's going to completely dissuade us of the notion that they're badasses, just like it did Master Chief. And this did it on purpose in a hilarious way. It's almost a commentary on that. Give me a fucking stim pack instead of just standing there. That's funny. I'm asking you for a stim pack and you're looking at me. This is good you're casting, too. You don't know what the fuck. You stupid motherfucker. You know this is all your fault. You know what they do to squires that don't do their fucking job? They hang you. They let the vultures come get you. Well, he's not going to help you now, idiot. <laughs> Give me a stupid pack. Give me a stupid pack. giving it to you. Gonna let you die and then take your armor. And this completely disillusioned him of the notion that these knights are this powerful and admirable figure. To better this fallen world. Yeah. You don't deserve that mm. armor. Or maybe he's just gonna be like this. So you think you do? <laughs> Apparently he does. He's gonna watch you die. Wow. They'll kill you for this. Not if I bring back the target. Hi, hello, excuse me. Hi, hello, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, she's so cute. It's okay. I just want to ask you for directions. I was worried they were going to make her a Mary Sue, but they're making her a hello, how are you, excuse me kind of girl, which is what she needed to be coming straight out of the ball tall, dreamy eyed and naive. She's got to become a badass, like like dude with the glasses was saying. Have you tried water for the water filter? <laughs> Dude's... <laughs> you got water? Oh, uh, would you like a sip? Don't do this, Lucy. Kill him. I'm gonna drink all of it. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, sir, I actually, I might... I need... I need to... How did he do that with his tongue? Somebody hands you a bottle of clean water and you drink it. Yeah. Even if you're not thirsty, you drink it. Yeah. But you can anyway. Rule number one of the wasteland, drink all, everything. No. You head to Philly? Well, what's Philly? Well, that's where Maximus and is, or is going. That's where they were, that's where they were talking about going. Had a hand as well. She got killed there once. Sounds dangerous. Or you just... Stay here. Live with me. Use the family. <laughs> <all the work. laughs> He's shooting a shot. You can't blame him. I would have done the same thing if I was wearing a diaper. I'm real sick. Make him die and oh, you wouldn't have to put up with me for too long. It's this could all be yours. Tempting offer, bro. Maybe if you're a person for not shooting me with that gun. I feel like if you've invested in some pants or found some, it would go a long way with this bit. Come live with me bit. Look at him, he's suiting up already. That was fast. I kind of like that we got him in the armor faster. It would have been annoying had he just been rolling around with King Titus all the time. Or Lord Titus, I mean. Oh damn, it is kind of looking. There's a two-legged animal running about. Bet you that thing f smells funky, though. You like it too, It's a man. Yes. Help the guy. Here's your moment to get a taste of heroism. This is the end of your fucking days! I said I'll hand him! I feel like he's gonna accidentally rip his head off. Oh, 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 oh. How the tables turn! Thank you, Mr. Metal Man. Much obliged to you. And as for you, you stupid rube, not the first time I've been persecuted. I didn't expect this guy to just monologue after he gets free. Have a really bad day, sir. Toodle. <laughs> Theatric. You should be commended. He likes that, but 
I almost want more from this character, this this Shakespearean wanderer who probably used to work on Wall Street. He was high all the time. He was always on something. Just... <laughs> <laughs> what? It runs like that. <laughs> oh god, wait. Wait, what? What did he do? The guy was fucking his chickens. Dude. I didn't even know that was possible. And I hate that that's in my head now. I'm sorry. You know what? He, he should have let him die if he was doing that with the chickens. That's not... not even... Imagine what else Hello, he's going to do. Yep. My name... Stop. Lucy, stop it. You're lovely. We all love you. Move. Introductions aren't necessary in this world. I am so happy with what they're doing with her character right now. I suppose in the last episode, there wasn't many character moments with her. There was just a lot of story and a lot of her fighting. And but now we're getting a lot of interactions, which say a lot more about her character. I like this set a lot. Oh, well, they really, they really put a lot of time and effort and money into these sets. And I'm really happy. Oh my god! Nuke Cola. Terrible for you. Absolutely terrible for you. Huge commentary on consumerism. Huge. Very effective as well. Which is why bottle caps are the currency in this world. Is this already gonna be uh Cooper? Or are we just do we just call him the ghoul on the show? No? Oh, sorry. Raiders. And their bras. I just said that to be funny. It's so creepy and well done. Oh, there he is. Nice. Yeah. Yodel show. Yodel away. Oh, it's. Oh boy. He has a bobblehead. Maz. Because. These items technically belong to vault Tech. <laughs> it would be safe to assume that you do business with criminals. Her little sack and stuff is so funny. And, like, everything's so well put together. That's why we got to get Lucy out of this wardrobe real quick. Because it makes her an easy target. It looks like she's camping. You're an actual vault. Yeah, yeah. I am. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I thought all you sardine fucking dipshits were dead. Barb, get in here. You gotta see this. Uh, Perfect. The reaction to her. Goes by the name of Barb, Mold get in here. You... <laughs> oh. Get back to your fucking room, Barb. Everyone knows who Mold is. <laughs> yeah, even outside of California, obviously. And, kill... and I'm telling you, you're gonna go through a whole lot worse if you stay around here. I can tell by looking at you. Clean hair. Mm. And all ten fingers. Is she? Well, oh. I know that it can't have been easy for you up here, what with all the murder and, and the dirt. <laughs> but the mission of the vaults should be important to everyone. And why is that? Yeah. Well, you see, the idea is... It's an idealistic idea. We're going to repopulate the earth with a save America. Yeah, or <laughs> America, yeah. The vaults were nothing more than a hole in the ground for rich folks to hide in. Yeah. While the rest of the world burned. And a bunch of people made money off of it. It's literally just a commentary on elitism. The elites being so detached, out of touch with everybody else. Fuck the vaults. I agree. She's got all her fingers. Okay, well, uh, thank you for your help, ma'am. This was, I really enjoyed this scene a lot. And I'm really, again, enjoying what they're doing with Lucy. I'm really enjoying it. And maybe I'm just overstating that because in my last reaction, I was very kind of critical of her character because I had a lot of doubts and was afraid of what they were going to do. Or I was afraid that they wouldn't do anything at all. And she would just be this bland character, but I don't feel that way at all now. And there's a lot of subtle things that this actress is doing with her that I think is very important and good. CX-404, here we go. Brains. Or meat, it's just raw meat. He's- You again, miss. 
Oh yeah, they've met already. Really think you should go home. You are not safe here. Is that from Fringe or something? No one understands my situation. Why would they? You come from Vault 33. Yeah, it's on her backpack. Your primary crop is corn. Oh, did he help to... Turn your farm. He's just studied a lot. It lives images of the Nebraskan countryside. Oh, that's right. You've been brought up in a meritocracy where people pride themselves on doing the right thing. You need to go home. Right. I was going to say that he helped to, with the construction of the vaults, but obviously he's way too young unless he was in cryo or something. Yodel away, show. Yodel away. Just studied them, probably. Finish that thought. I also have a lot I want to say right now about playing from the perspective of a vault dweller and how as a kid you don't really think about everything I said before. Why it's so fascinating in retrospect. You know your kind ain't welcome here. He's been sitting in that chair over there for like an hour. But I'm gonna make myself welcome. Already did. Now, last night a bounty came in through all six ages. Oh, he knows it's that guy. Is she is Lucy gonna fight Cooper? But I've been paid a whole lot of caps to provide this man safe transport out of Philly. Ooh, wow, I didn't think we were gonna damage the goods that quickly. So much yodeling. He's totally way too good looking for a ghoul, but that's fine. His makeup needed to be more subtle before he could act. Not that it's subtle. Damn. Whew. Let's go. <laughs> I love the way that they're depicting violence because it's so over the top and it looks like crap you would see in the game. I gotta stop saying that, obviously. You guys know that. I'm done saying that. But, like, this looks like the game. I'm done. I did that in my last of us reactions too much. I'm gonna watch the show. Yeah. I ain't gonna hurt him. Um, well, I'd offer you one of these cherry tomatoes, but you got a hole in your neck. <laughs> She's checked in. Boom! That was fil I like their filming, like following the bullet. I hope we don't kill her though. She's fun. Well, the tomatoes. A bottle caps. Throw them on the ground. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, this will be interesting. No! Dog will be fine, I bet. She looks longingly at a vault boy. Alright, let's go. She's Wilson. I'm going to have to ask you to leave him alone. Now, I acknowledge that I'm unfamiliar with your circumstances. Okay. But at first glance, your treatment of this man appears unfair, and I'm obliged to intervene. Okay. Now, so kind. I think everyone in this town would agree the force is just <laughs> unless you willingly stand down now. Fucking vault. <laughs> oh, Lucy. Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very oh, large bucket of drugs. Drug. Oh, in the try. She said, Stand down. Maximus. Knight Titus of the Brotherhood of Steel. Stand oh, he's down. Oh, uh, co opting his title. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Listen, that man is important. 
I've been sent here to find yeah. him. Get him inside and keep him there until I've dealt with a ghoul. Okay. Thank you. Are they gonna make these two love interests? I guess it would kind of be set up already because she was she wanted to get married. I don't want them to do that though, because that's way too predictable. It's hard to walk upstairs when you're wearing a 12-piece cast iron skillet set. <laughs> Need a new foot barf. Trying to eat my beans. But okay. God forbid you interrupt barf wise consuming beans. Yikes. I can still make this trip. You'll be lucky if you can make it to fucking breakfast. She's enamored with him. I'm jealous. Look at me that way, Lucy. Night. She's like, I don't. Oh. Uh, my God. She can take me. <laughs> wow. Just that so wild. Hey, Daddy's girl. Yeah, I guess that, that that's an astute description of her. Besides, no offense, but you're in no condition to travel. Well, he's got a. Shoot now. My client goes by the name of Lee Moldaver. Oh, wow. You ain't getting near Moldaver without something to bargain with and wow. delivering this guy right here. That's all this works. But what does Moldaver want with you, I mean, She steals dad. <laughs> he might have kids. Gosh damn it, okay. Gosh damn it. He's adorable. I love it. It's perfect. I needed this episode to see that Lucy would be accurately depicted at the way a Vault Dweller should be. Perfect. It really is. Do this, sure you can, you all. Vault Dweller, true to your word, this really, this could may, maybe work. <laughs> maybe work. I'd be curious to see how this ends with them all working together. Would you stop looking at him like, guys, stop it. You're making me uncomfortable. You're in trouble, Maximus, because the show is the oldling. You can drive that thing like a fucking shopping cart. He's fought nights before. Rule number one. Read the manual. Which she's read, apparently. Walt Goggins' body language in this is real cool, too. He's very casual in his movement, and that's cool, because he's not afraid. Which is perfect, considering, you know, his circumstances and his invulnerabilities. Serums to energize! Serums to Look at his fuck, dude. Oh no, not that chicken guy. Get him out of here, dude. Oh, something about Maximus saving the chicken. The who lays with chickens is gonna come back around to bite them in the ass. And Lucy just stop looking at him like he's a piece of meat? Look at him, he's cartoonish. Actually, you know what? I didn't consider the fact that Walt Goggins might be an antagonistic force in this series, at least at first. I was hoping his interests would align with Lucy and Maximus's and they would become the three amigos, as it were, just like Lisa Joy, Jonathan Nolan, and Todd Howard. Help the dog. I know you're probably only doing it to help find... I forget his name. I was going to say Wilford. That's not it. Oh, Stim. Now the ghoul, Cooper, and the dog like, literally walking side by side would look like... You know... A lot of fucks and a lot of yodeling in this episode. The tech in this show is so archaic and advanced simultaneously. Retrofuturism. What we thought future technology would be is archaic. At least in compared to what we think it's going to be like now. Which I'm sur sure future generations will look back on what we perceive the future to be and be like, 
Come on, guys. Those ideas are not round and smooth enough. Holy moly. Holy moly. I'm not going to make it. I don't know who you are or how you know the things that you do, but you are going to get across that wasteland. And we're going to do it together. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's a promise. Okay, thanks. I'll come. No, you see, I've just taken a cyanide. <laughs> what? The Vault Tech Plan D. It was the most humane product that Vault Tech Please. ever made. <laughs> The most humane product. We saw this at the beginning of the episode on the table, too. Right? They had cyanide, I believe. I can't believe he's dead already. You can change the future if you can bring me to Moldaver. Oh, it's because of what he put inside of him. This is the exposition. Come on, tell Just us. Just my head. Okay. Oh, wow. Welcome to the wasteland, Lucy. It's time to get your hands dirty. It'll be easier if you carry my head instead of dragging my whole body. Yeah, you, you're asking me. Honestly, it's not that bad if he's already dead. Don't look. You are a vault dweller. Yeah. But if you're going to survive with me, you need to start acting like a surface dweller. <laughs> okay, Miss McLean. Oh. He knows you. He knows your dad, and he knows you. What the fuck is in his head, though? Everyone knows more about you than you know about you. Clearly, there was some sort of collaboration between her dad, Moldaver, and Wilfred. I'm sorry. I know that's not his name. I forgot. Do it. Okie dokie. Yep. I love, yep. The Ink Spots, perfect time to play that song. Directed by Jonathan Nolan. Did he direct every episode of this season? Remember that trailer years ago when this song started playing for Fallout 3 and I was just like, buying that game. Desire. And that one is you, other will do. Pass all ambition, or lay a claim. I just want to be the one you love. Your admission, you feel the same. I reach the goal I'm dreaming of. Leave me at the world of fire. Wilzig, Dr. Wilzig, that was the guy's name. I was like, well, I wanted to say something about the vault dwellers. I think it had something to do with something I've also said in the, uh, the Wire video. That's... Vault dwellers are fascinating, right? Because they they sort of embody everything we don't want our children to become. I'm being very general here because I'm neither rich and elite or have children. But I think when people make it in life, they're always worried that their struggle is what made them successful. And how are they going to expose their children to the same sort of struggle? How can they avoid or negate any naivete or innocence, this feeling of them being sheltered? that an economically advantageous life will award them. Award's not even the right word. Because they're going to go out into the world and then be like, oh shit, this is actually tough. The second they're cut off from their parents. The vault's just... The vault is like a stand-in for just parenting in general, isn't it? And I think that's why it really works well when the vault dweller always leaves to go find a parent. Because as they're looking for their parental figure, they also are exposed to a world they don't know. I hope that made sense. Also, real quick, I want to say that while so many people... There's a lot of talk right now about the Halo series and how that didn't adapt a video game franchise very well, and this show does. I've seen a lot of like headlines about that. My biggest issue, although I had many with the Halo series, was the fact that it didn't include this. And I hope in this moment, Editor Me is playing, or had pl has played... Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Which is like a go-to workout song for me, <laughs> you know? And you need to include those sort of nostalgic and adrenaline-infused things that fans associate with their childhood or their experience playing the games. I should have said there are also moral and ethical benefits and detriments 
to being raised sheltered or right in an economic sense. Because you never really have to be confronted with hard choices, but you, if your life is structured, you should have good instincts in that regard, you know. I, you could even think of the Western world that way. That's why it's, it's cool that they repeat America. We're going to rebuild America, they've been saying, because we have a very in instinctive sense of right and wrong because we've been conditioned not only by the media and our parents and the culture we've been exposed to, but I mean, obviously Christianity and the morality behind that played a huge role in the foundation of the Western world as it comes from Great Britain and stuff. Where was I going with this? Oh yeah, so as Lucy is now in the wasteland, it's gonna test her. Just like we, we are tested when we get outside of our comfort zones, whether we grew up rich or poor or whatever. I don't know if any of that made sense. All my ranting or tangents are just to say the whole premise of Fall is brilliant. The whole world is a byproduct of decisions that the country, humanity, etc., etc., the world has made. The fallout of our decisions, our actions, consequences, right? The show is about consequence. But you also can't take it too seriously or become a zealot or some sort of idealist. Both are problematic. Tricky, you know? Western music playing. The beginning. There we go. Good. I wanted some Cooper flashbacks. My audio going? I hope it is. That would suck. If it wasn't. Oh, this is just one of his movies. It's so clever to have him put. There's an old Mexican eulogy. Feo, fuerte y formal. Means he was ugly, strong, and had dignity. Well, Joey. Like he doesn't know that. I'll give you two out of three on that front. Monologuing for the audience. Cut. Oh, yeah. Do I really have to kill him? Cut. Oh, he doesn't like the way he's being portrayed. It's funny that the, he was previously an actor portraying these kind of characters, and then he just embraced what he knew about these kind of characters to become the ghoul. The audience, Coop, right. yeah? They already know you're a good man. They want to see that even a good man as yourself can be driven yeah, to I understand that, but that's not really my thing. You know, Emil, that's not what I do. This is clever. See, it turns out, Bob's a bit of a communist. <laughs> What a shame, he's Terrible such a great shame. writer. <laughs> One of the best, but he had to go. Which is why this movie is so important. Right. You see, it's a, it's a new kind of Western. The power of the individual when the chips are down. A new America, that's what I'm telling you. Power of the individual. Shoot all I in the fucking head, yeah? <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's not great. It's oh, not this is going to be his wife. Tastes like someone touching you for the first time. Oh, man. Touch you? Hates it. Um, that's the worst <laughs> thing I've ever put in my mouth. That's horrible. Kathy? Um, oh, they're already together. They just like to relive and role play sometimes. A bit of a costume change for you, Mr. Howard. They even made it in your color. Let's see if it fits. Hmm. I wonder if it's gonna be what he's wearing 219 years later. I like that, that opening a lot. It was very well written and, and thematically related to everything that's going on. Is he trying to stave off his deterioration? Come on, let's go find the rest of them. Oh, that's right. That was that dude. Wilzeg. What's his name? Fallout. Sand. Every title card's different. That's cool. Ink spots. Nice. Got the head. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, we're just going to use the ink spots a lot. That's cool. I really try to vocalize everything I'm thinking. And in that first scene, there was so much I wanted to say, but didn't get to. But that's fine. That's the sign of a good scene. Like when I'm doing this, when it's like, my mind just explodes with all this crap I'm noticing. 
crap in a good way, like the kind of turd you'd take a picture of and send to your friends, you know, and be like, well, look what happened to me. How did I produce such a magnificent piece of excrement? Maybe. Yeah, what is this pill, blue pill in his head? Keep your secrets, sir. <laughs> Keep your secrets just reminded me of Frodo, Lord of the Rings, when he says that to Gandalf. Howard, kind of. By far the most, like, he's a very flawed character. and He feels like a powder keg of a character, even more so than Cooper slash the ghoul, because he's very insecure and stuff. Emotional. Night Titus. This is Night Titus. That's not how Michael rap, rap up, rap, rap, R-A-P-P-O-R-T sounds. Copy that. We'll get you a replacement squire. Right away. No. No. It's not a problem. We got plenty of squires. <laughs> plenty of squires. Disposable. Cannon fodder. <laughs> Chains it up like a bike. I can fix it. Cost you five caps. I guess you do it for four. No. I, I was talking about bottle caps, like how it's this commentary on consumerism, but also is like, we always attribute value to the most arbitrary things, not the things that actually should have value or meaning or mean something Extra, to us. If you do it fast. Paper, you know, bottle caps. What does it matter? Pick something. I'll give you this because everyone else told me this is worth something. How about I give you a piece of the Berlin Wall? Wouldn't that be worth something? Apparently not. I have a piece. It's only worth 50 on eBay. I tried to make some money. $50. Step away from the armor. <laughs> Kick the shit out of it. Oh, oh, oh he's, he goes for the armor. Yeah, you didn't really think this through. Find us, keep us. Me lord. How are you out of this? All right, Maximus. Oh, he's, he's gonna give him the Dominic Toretto. Uh, with a toilet seat. The Dominic Toretto uh, plus toilet seat. I do my best to now we got the Johnny Cash again, like in the first episode. <laughs> this is funny. Try to make believe there's nothing wrong. Not the toilet seat. Oh, I thought for sure he'd, he'd be, what? I thought for sure they screwed with the toilet seat. to do that did he get his arm in must have you know the armor has a soul and a heart it's like the iron giant that was voiced by vin diesel see how i brought that back around very quickly i'm getting good at this oh they're dropping off a squire I feel like this was the guy that compulsively masturbates. Well, look, dude, I get that it's tempting and it makes you feel better, but focus on bettering yourself. And if there's some spare time where you truly have nothing better to do. Night Titus! I'm Thaddeus! And I'm honored to be in your charge! You're gonna have to stay in the armor all the time. Find a way to get rid of him. I do not know what I've done to offend, but I beg for mercy! Please! 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 I, I don't do anything! Likes the power way too much. 
Or he just thinks it's funny. As much for her. And clean this. The cup. We're not the only ones in search of this remnant from the old world. The elder cleric says whoever gets the target will control the wasteland. I wonder if this is just a MacGuffin, or there's going to be a review as to what a reveal as to what it is. I'm sure there will be, but you just risk that being underwhelming when we eventually do find it. whatever it is. Just a really good recipe. People love their casseroles, and everyone's trying to figure out the right concoction. It's like the right creative mix. Wilzig, last name Doc W. I get it. Uh, it's like a. He relates to the fawn. What if it's mutated? Yeah, this, I guess, deer, fawn, is sort of a proxy for her, and the, the growling is the world. I'm overthinking this way too much. Oh, shit. Sorry. I just know she's got Wilfred's head in her knapsack, her bag. So you gotta go. Technically, Lucy controls the wasteland right now. Oh, that's right, she put the tracker in the head. Yeah, to work together, Coop. Yodel. They get a yodel every time he's on screen. Hello again. <laughs> that's what I put in my timestamp for my intro. Oh, gee. It's super cool that, to that CX404 got paired up with Coop. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I don't know where it is. Okay, I lost it. She didn't lose it. She knows where it is, sort of. Gulper got it, huh? Gulper? Not about the ink spots. Okay, the little brother, I want to say this because I made a joke about him in my first reaction. Where I said, he could be 50, you can't tell with that kid. I just meant, I didn't know if he was the older or the younger brother. I wasn't making fun of this guy. I want to clarify that. He doesn't look 50. He looks young as fuck. It's so ridiculous. Such a ridiculous thing to say. Is That's why I said it. it makes no sense. Norm said things just then, but I missed all of it because I was trying to not be an asshole. Make up for malicious jokes. That's Norm. Sorry, I confused their names. Him and the uh, incestuous cousin. You know why you're in here? Because I helped my sister escape the vault. Yeah. Escape? You and Chet put your sister in England. Chet, that's right. His name would be Chet. A single bad decision that put everyone at risk. Not just Vault 32, but 33 and 31 as well. Well, yeah, they're just... What are we going to do with you? Punish me with a demotion, I guess. Chop his head off, put it on a spike. As a warning. To all those that try that sort of thing again. That's what the British did with William Wallace's head, and it, it didn't work. No, you can give him a bad job. How do you demote someone who equally dislikes every job he's ever worked? Mm. <laughs> Glad to hear that we punish people down here for breaking the rules. Is that just for vault dwellers or for people who come down here and murder vault dwellers? We've got a job for you after all. Uh, torture people? Is is Norm sadistic? Rise and shine, everyone. Your catered snackables have arrived. Oh, he's the jailer. Sort of. And you're welcome. Not civilized. Your fucking heart! <laughs> I'm all of a sudden very interested in Norm as a character. There's something... I don't know, there's something off about him. 
And then, you know, like, oh boy. Who's the main character from Psycho? Norman Bates? Is that intentional? Not main character from Psycho. The one who's a mama's boy. You know what I mean? The antagonist, the villain. The guy who should never have been allowed to even take a shower. That didn't make sense. We should repair your radio so we can ask the Brotherhood to send reinforcements. Nope. Radio's just gone. Nope. We have guy from the Enclave. The guy everybody's looking for. You saw it. Really, him. is just a caddy bag. You left with a girl, a woman. A woman. You left the ghoul alive. Great idea, sir. All wastelanders leave radiation trails, but allowing the ghoul to live, you've made it possible to trace the whereabouts of the of the target. Reading it. Serendipitous. Okay. Yes, right. I know that. This guy's a squire extraordinaire, to be fair. The masturbator. I know he probably wasn't the guy jerking off, but uh, uh, it's funny to think he is. Think this was him? Plus, everyone with a mustache like that jerks off all the time. Not really. Shout out to the people with those that mustache. I'm sure you're, you get you probably just get a lot of love all the time. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's definitely him. Yep. Yeah. If they left the body, it must be worthless. Yeah. His head is what's valuable. Who do you think did this, the girl or the ghoul? The ghoul. <laughs> Definitely. <gasps> no. One day the Brotherhood is going to eradicate every last one of those freaks. Ghouls are people too. I wonder if you can cure a ghoul? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Stop! Please! <laughs> My dad. He's using her as bait. Can you help me find me? He'll do whatever you want. Yeah, maybe you can, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe you can uh, appeal to his familial empathy, but that's probably not a thing anymore. Just talk. Stop. Torture is wrong. <laughs> if only everyone who was tortured and or waterboarded <laughs> said that. Then people were, they were just like, oh, damn it, we forgot. Sorry. A study came out, and it said that torturing a person don't do shit. Not really. It's probably more the threat of torture. Like, once you're already torturing, they're like, well, fuck it now. Let's fuck you. I mean, a man hurts me. I wouldn't want to do him any favor. Mm, see? I personally noticed a, a decided uptick. <laughs> Any amount of torture being doled out across the board. Sir, please, why? Why are you doing this? Well, I ain't torturing you, sweetheart. Yeah, he's using you as bait. I was saying I'm that using before. You as bait. I never thought he was, really. But I like that little monologue. Decent monologues in this show. Yeah, cause they, he had he had the like the makeshift hook. You know what I mean? I noticed that right away. Basically, fishing. Wow. Looks really good. Unless it's my TV and it doesn't, but I'm sure some people say this show has terrible CGI. Looks good, man. I think it looks great. Thing reminds me of something or another property. Well, there goes all your currency. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have just let you use me as bait in a poison river. You can't treat people like this. Yeah, why is that? Couldn't. Because of the golden rule. Okay. Do unto others as you'd have done unto you. I was talking about Christianity. No, that's just being nice. That's not Christianity. <laughs> that's just the golden rule. Well, the wasteland's got its own golden rule. No, oh, what's that? Oh, here it is. Every goddamn time. <laughs> I grew up uh, working on a fly farm. I was a shitter. So they'd feed us, and then they'd feed our shit to the flies. 
mulch them up and sell all this protein. Yeah? Anyway, that's why I'm so fat. <laughs> fat at all. Former squire. How did he die? You knew him? Uh oh. Didn't Say something him. about him. Say something about him. There's something negative about him. Oh god, he's looking for the gossip. He's very insecure. I like regularly beat the shit out of him. Mm. They used to beat the shit out of me all the time. Such a funny idea. What if we beat the shit out of that guy instead? And it worked. Mm, this is how bullying works. Hurt people hurt people. Long enough to find someone else to beat up, you know? Only seems fair. I realize that uh, yeah. people die all the time. It's the law of the wasteland. So who cares, right? Wow. We just had that in the last scene. It sort of mirrors. This scene sort of mirrors the other one. Don't feel bad. It's like you said, the law of the wasteland. I like that though, because it is like we've all treated people badly in our lives and we feel bad about it and we sort of justify it in our minds by being like, they'll get over it or they'll be okay, they're strong. We can judge but that's just how the world works, you know. By how they treat their enemy. Here we go again, sort of. These scenes back to back have been thematically similar. An ethical opportunity to demonstrate to the surface dwellers and to each other what we mean when we say we're going to build a better world. It's not a positive spin for me. It's the gosh darn truth. Okay. It's so strange that they're really focused on the public speaking aspect of this and it's so formal when they live with these people. See them every day. You'd think it'd be a lot more informal. It's so funny. It's funny. I think this conversation would benefit from some actual... Yeah, yeah. Not just blanket statements. The young man Woody interrogated this morning? He left an impression on me. That is the gentleman who showed me his book. <laughs> yes, but what I took from that is a desire to communicate. Err. Uh, sure. I mean, your mouth's a hole and that's a hole, so I can see how you can make that connection. Prisoners and then integrate them into our vault society. This chick lost an eye. She's not happy about that. Look, even if the raiders become nice and they, they do unto others, you know, they're going to be like, you guys are fucking nuts. I want to get out of here. Let me out. I'd be happy to teach them introductory calculus. Say it. Say your, say your, speak your truth, Norm. I don't know. I don't think it's our job to help these people. They're murderers. They didn't know any better. And how could they without a formal education? Hmm. The hard truth is we can't just let them go. I'm gonna propose we kill them. We can do what they would have done to us. Wow. <gasps> Jeez Louise, Norm. Jeez Louise, Norm. This is a moral conundrum. Norm's excited about the idea, though. It's, it's not just because he thinks it's the right thing to do. I'm sorry. You're right. It was not my intention to question your leadership, Overseer. Thank you. Norm's gonna rule this place with an iron fist. Look at his face. The water chip is destroyed. The vault only has enough water to keep our population alive for uh, two months. And, and that's not accounting for the prisoners. Okay. You guys are gonna have to go. They killed my husband. You're right, you know. Rick? What would Rick Grimes do? That's always the question, right? You let Negan live. It depends where, where what season, I suppose. I'll leave the charge. I am a knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Get back to shore. But, sir. Go. Thank you, sir. Good for you. It reminds me of Lilo or Stitch or L uh, Lilo and Stitch. Is it Stitch or Lilo? Whatever the the the, the you know, not the girl. Why is this? 
Why is this so fun? <laughs> These guys are gonna be best buds. What? What just happened? You saved me. Yeah. You saved me first. Oh, it's the head. Is that? Yeah. The head. The head. It's the head. I really, I'm really growing to like those two together. That's cool. Also, there's a part of me that wants to feel like maybe some of this is convenient, but I think it actually works very well. Not only how the characters are intersecting, but yeah, how the characters are intersecting. Very Hansel and Gretel in a way that makes sense. He's going to give her the water, and she's going to drink all of it. He's going to ask for a sip. Oh, this is like the first, her first step in the wrong direction. This is the guy from the last episode, you know, said that to her. That She should, that'd be good writing. Or if she Please. sticks to a sip, it would reinforce how... Okay, never mind. He wouldn't give her water. But that maybe it will come back around down the road. Cause that's just a shitty thing to do. Drink some uh, the entire all of someone's water. Terrible. That's when we know she's lost ethically when she drinks all of someone's water. That's what this show is doing, putting her putting her through the ethical ringer. Oh boy. Ain't much stage clean up here, Volte. You'll see. Is that what happened to you? That's what I'm talking about. This is her arc, her development, her struggle. I don't know why I didn't think about that initially. Wow. He sort of read her mind. Like, I have disdain for that. Gonna put me ah, and he helped to advertise it. Boyd always used to do that. Raylan Gibbons. What do I owe the pleasure? Yeah. You know, I've never done an advertisement before in my life. But then again, my wife has never asked me to. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was going to say it, but I've never believed in one. I've never believed in a product as much as this. Ah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, this thing really block radiation? Absolutely. <laughs> you all are doing uh, God's work here. And, uh, oh, he does believe in it. I have a very decent American. I just want to say thank you. Oh. Wow. Yeah, what if, uh, uh, what if I do, were to do like a thumbs up? No way. He did not coin this. Biggest fool that's ever hit the big time. That's cool. Wow. And then, right, the credits, it's the thumbs up on the billboard. And half of it's his face? What? This is so, dude, I'm enjoying the, sh the hell out of this. And the soundtrack to this is amazing. Perfect music choices. Imagine if we got a bad... I shouldn't just say this as if this is... I already judged the entire series. But imagine if, if this was worse, I could see the powers that be in that scenario just using contemporary music or some bullshit you know what i mean wow the, imagine the reaction to that one contemporary song would ruin this entire show probably all right on to the next one unless i just randomly decide to only upload this as two episodes but we'll see that's it's possible if that happens 
Then I am just going to do an outro real quick. Big love to everyone who was bored enough to join me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Drive me off this platform if you must. Otherwise, like, subscribe. Dislike for cathartic reasons. Drink water. Stay young. And remember, don't be an idiot. Be a buffoon. Thanks.